You've caught me snoozing. This is where I have a nap during the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Jay Lysis. Got your back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm here with Mark Silcox and my special guest, Gus Khan, and we're talking rubbish. <laughs> Now, one thing we've heard lots of complaints about is fly tipping. Much like my friend Mandy's love life, fly tipping now operates on an industrial scale. <laughs> there are around a million illegal dumps a year in England alone, and this costs taxpayers like you and me more than £57 million annually to clear up. Oops. I did a fly tips. <laughs> what a mess. an impressive step on there, Mark. Boom. <laughs> 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 when we say fly tipping, we're not just talking about the odd fridge here or there, we're talking massive amounts of dumping organised by criminal gangs. It causes huge environmental damage, costs millions to clear up, but makes those gangs big money. Now, it's hard for the authorities to track down these guys. They change their numbers, vehicles, plates, and don't use their real names. Sounds like so many of my Tinder dates. <laughs> but hold on, I've had a tip-off, because we were sent this flyer. It was found in the middle of a massive heap of fly-tipped rubbish in Buckinghamshire. Is this a reference to Milton Keynes? Absolutely not. <laughs> this is a flyer for the gang responsible for that 200-metre-long Buckinghamshire dump. But who's man enough to take on these gangs? Easy answer, this guy. <laughs> but if he's not available, then this guy. Watch this with your eyes. Oh, the beautiful English countryside, where man is free to take in the bucolic wonder and roam wherever he pleases. Run, Bobby! But there's something in the countryside that's even worse than the people who live there. Fly tippers! To lure this gang into our trap, we've called them up and booked them in for a job. I've hired a house, filled it with secret cameras, as well as lots of rubbish. The bathtub's looking a bit worried. Oh! And rightly so. I've also got my team to pose as a gang of builders. While I watch on from a luxury people carrier. I need to keep these hands soft for nipple play. <laughs> the gang arrive on time. Come on, mate. Here you go. Yes, that's me. This is Sarah, sir. Yes, this is. You are Chris, yeah? I'm Chris, yeah. This is Chris, except we found him on Facebook. And he's not called Chris, but Patrick McDonough. It turns out he likes parkour, country music and stolen caravans. Hello, are we twins? Not Chris, but Patrick was full of chat about his business empire. I'm to cover all of it. I've got four more guys working for me. OK. Four guys working for you to shift rubbish? Reminds me of Gary Barlow. Burn! <laughs> we hand over £200 so Chris can take our rubbish away. Thank you, mate. Don't you just hate it when you accidentally throw something valuable away? Well, we've accidentally thrown away a load of electronic trackers, which will help us track when not Chris is taking our rubbish. Whoopsie plops! Follow that trash! Yes, sir. He's on the A406, heading east. Leaving Wembley. Stay on him! Approaching Hendon. You cannot hide from Joe Lysett. I will not rest until he's caught! Sir. Sir. Hmm? He's finally dropped the trash in Brixton. Oh, great. Well, let's go down there. We headed straight there. Would this be a commercial waste site? No, it was the biggest pile of crap I have ever seen. It wasn't safe to enter, but not Chris, but Patrick had set up camp with his mates. They dumped tons and tons of rubbish over the next few days, then disappeared without a trace. So we snuck in to gather evidence. Oh, hello, old friend. Ah! <laughs> I need a wet wipe. <laughs> Careful, these are very expensive. It will cost tens of thousands to clear up this rubbish. I hope they don't do it too soon. I was planning on having a date here with your mum. <laughs> now, Gus, I'd love to know what you thought of our fly tipping sting because I've heard you've got experience in this field. Yeah, that guy was horrendous. Yeah. But I have to admit to you because you're my boy. Yeah. And this is your show. So I'm your boy. The truth. You are my boy, yeah. Father's going to be confused. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I have been guilty of fly tipping myself, Joe. What? Yeah, I did. Don't do all the. Ooh, you make me feel bad. <laughs> Chill out. It's got very pantomime in here, very quickly. Hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, so, I... you can confess to me. We're friends. What okay, happened? but listen. So uh, I bought the I bought the house. Yeah. Renovating it, so you've got to dash out all the carpet and all the plaster and all these manoeuvres. But yeah. bro, skips are very expensive. Yeah. And so I realised that actually I owned a bit of allotment land behind my house. Yeah. I didn't rob it off like Uncle Wilfred or whatever. That's my allotment land that belongs to me <laughs> legally. <laughs> And so what I did is instead of like spending all that money on skips, yeah. I just uh, very gently placed it uh, in the allotment. We've got a picture of it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a mess to me, mate. No, but it's been like bare storm since then. Like Kira, Dennis, all them man came through. <laughs> <and it's... laughs> <laughs> you're, bl you're blaming that on Dennis, yes, are you? Yes, Dennis <laughs> messing with the... Yeah, like you do know, idea. even though it's your land, that's still a criminal offence. Do you know that? I know. Felicity from the neighbourhood watch has been doing my nut about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> as a friend, obviously, I think that's hilarious that you've done that. But as the host of a consumer show, I have to tell you that I've informed the authorities. Bloody <laughs> scum. <laughs> Now, despite his many appalling acts, I have a kind of grudging respect for Not Chris But Patrick, the way you do for an evil genius or a criminal mastermind or James Corden. <laughs> I admired Not Chris But Patrick's sheer bloody-mindedness. He was happy to dump huge amounts of rubbish in public and he didn't care. He may be my favourite fly-tipper. I don't know what the opposite of a Pride of Britain award is, but he deserves one. <laughs> I felt he should get some recognition, which is why we did what you're about to see. This is the first time we've ever done something like this. We're confronting an actual criminal on screen, just like they do on the Big Boys programmes. This is one of my favourite things I've ever done in my life. I've come up with a devilish little plan to expose Not Chris But Patrick in his fly-tipping ways. So what's going to happen is, when he arrives, he'll be met by Nick. Nick will take him through into the garage where Mark Silcox will be dressed as a builder doing some sanding. He'll go through, Nick will suggest that they move a door. As he moves to the door, there's a little surprise for him. And that is why I'm wearing this. I'm not going to say any more. If this comes off as I want it to, it will probably be my life's greatest work. And now we wait. But will not Chris but Patrick turn up? He's here. <coughs> OK, here we go, then. Thank you, mate. So this, Mark. We have uh, this here. And we have some more as well, but I think best first if we take door. Not Chris, but Patrick has no idea what's about to hit him. Cue Mark Silcox. Young men, pick up this thing off the ground. Have you been doing some YMCA? We know the state of the YMCA. We've been checking your stats. And we know all the facts. Congratulations! Britain's young best fly tippers! We got a hold of your flies, I said We got two tickets man. to the show! And we f*** you with flies, Congratulations! We'll put an end to your buzz dumping Two tickets to the show! Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Woo-hoo! You've been doing some fly MCA That's right! We celebrated this magnificent feat of fly tipping the only way we knew how by putting on an incredibly loud homoerotic disco party and offered him two tickets to the show. As in my opinion, he's the UK's best fly tipper. <laughs> and I am delighted to say here tonight in his VIP seat, it's the UK's best fly tipper. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. It seems Chris, but not Patrick, didn't make it to the show. In fact, we never heard from him again. Don't know where he is. He's probably watching 8 out of 10 Cats does Countdown. <laughs> you get all the best criminals there. <laughs> but if you're someone out there who's up to no good, just know we will come after you, we will find you, and we will dance at you. You have been warned. <laughs>